Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Vengeance, a movie by B.J. Novak, uh, as a guy who goes to a funeral and gets more than he bargained for. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books one through eight. Um, so Vengeance. Uh, he wrote it. I believe he directed it. Of course, we got a pre-trailer for some reason. I, someone explained to me the pre-trailer. Anyhow, he goes to Texas to attend a funeral. I'm not sure why he goes, um, but he hooked up with this girl a few times, and she painted him out to be a serious boyfriend, but he wasn't. And uh, so the family thinks he was like the love of her life. And maybe he kind of sort of was. And then, I'm not sure if it's her brother. Yeah, so from writer-director. So I guess he, he did both. I, I, I guess this is her brother or her friend uh, decides that they're going to avenge her death. And at first, of course, it looks like, you know, it's tragic, but she just died. And he decides to do a podcast about uh, this these wacky people. Ashton Kutchner is in it, too. Uh, the, the wackadoos in Texas because that's how Hollywood looks at everybody from Texas and not in Hollywood. Um, but then it kind of turns out maybe she was murdered. So here his Prius explodes. So that's that's another trope. Uh, in fairness, he's, he's doing the tropes both ways. Like he's kind of a soy boy kind of guy, a soft guy. He doesn't want to do vengeance and, uh, you know. So he gets to know the family. And then uh, he's trying to pose as a Texan, but he keeps failing at it. Uh, he collapsed at the, at the wrong Texas thing. Um, but then it may turn out that she was murdered and that these guys overlooked it because he starts digging into it. And um, I think Ashton is the murderer, quite frankly. I think he is. I think he's a little too prominent in the trailer not to be. Um... I'm going to guess it's probably with Ashton, though. Uh, he doesn't seem like a main guy. It's kind of weird they don't promote him. seems like he would be someone to promote in this. Um, July 29th. It looks kind of interesting. It looks kind of interesting. So here they are in a, uh, like a ATV. This is kind of a funny scene. The grandmother's like, you know... Uh, you can't solve your problems with a 45. And BJ immediately goes, yeah, see, that's wise words. And then she goes, no, what you need, really need is a shotgun, an AR-15. AR and she starts rattling off a bunch of guns. And he's like, whoa, wait, whoa, no. That's not what I meant. So it's kind of funny. It's a culture clash. If handled correctly, I, I think it could work. It may look down a little bit on Texans. I'm not, I'm sensing that, but... I think, though, the character arc would be that BJ's character comes to like the family, like Texas, and is won over by them, I think, would be the, the, the character arc for him. And he, he becomes a better person for it. He realizes that maybe he was stuck in his hipstery ways. Um, and, uh, you know, the culture class is always, often very funny. I think it will be at the expense of Texans for quite a bit of the movie. But that being said, I think it will, it feels like it's going to handle it okay. I don't know. Maybe not. Don't quote me on it, but I do kind of like what's going on in this movie. Ashton, you know, I don't mind him in stuff. I think he's funny as Kelso, so I think it's good that he's in another comedy movie. Um, you know, and this does seem like a dark comedy. BJ's definitely got comedy bona fide, being uh, from The Office. So, um, and he's playing like a character like his character on The Office. You could see this being his character from The Office, you know, going into a slightly different line of work, getting out of that Scranton, and then, you know, becoming this guy. And you could see him just hooking up with some girl and then getting roped into this. So, uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. I think it could be good. Um, you know. Again, if it's at too much of the expense of Texans, 
I'd be kind of annoyed by that. Like if they're if it's just like bashing on Texans the whole movie and then like oh he's the smart hipster that saves everybody. Yeah, I would be annoyed by that. But it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem that way because he's he he keeps going back to what did this girl see in me, you know? And so he's got flaws too. Here they are at Whataburger. Could have been in and out, but they picked Whataburger. Okay, all right, that's what you want to pick, Moby. That's what you want to pick, BJ. Um, so I kind of like it. So first act, of course, fish out of water kind of story. He shows up in Texas for this funeral. He got roped in somehow. Maybe it just starts with him arriving. And they automatically assume he was like the, you know, the guy for this girl. So he gets this idea as long as he's there. Maybe he's a little desperate for cash to do this podcast or documentary about this, you know, because her brother or her friend or whoever he is, is like convinced she's murdered. And BJ sees zero evidence of that at first. So he decides to do a podcast, convinces him, oh, I'll do a podcast about you, you know, doing this. And really he's doing it at his expense. So second act, um, his Prius explodes, and he becomes convinced that, yes, indeed, maybe this girl was murdered. And maybe he sees other evidence, too, that's not shown. Uh, maybe he starts to get vaguely threatening vibes from people. Here, here's the explosion. Um, and, uh, you know, small town, small town, you know, uh, big city guy in a small town kind of vibe of the whole movie. So during the course of the movie, he puts together the pieces, and at the end, they solve the mystery. Now, it could be, <laughs> and along the way, he's a fish out of water. It could be, at the end of the movie, the revelation is he got caught up in conspiracy nonsense, too, and she wasn't murdered, and they proved that she wasn't, and that, that could be very funny, too, because then he realizes he's just as dopey as anybody else, and it really, you know, really it was his his uh, prism of how he looked down upon, you know, people outside the big city and that really he's just just as vulnerable to getting caught up in things as anybody else. And really, he, he's learned an important lesson. Could be that way. I think it's probably that she was actually murdered and Ashton Kushner uh, killed her. I just get that vibe from his character. He's a little too smarmy and... Uh, I'm not sure why he's not part of the family, so I'm not sure why he keeps popping up. So my vibe is he keeps popping up because he senses that this guy is on to him. You know, maybe he runs into him at first and then kind of senses like, oh, he's going to dig around. Even though he doesn't believe it, he might find out something. So it doesn't give away anything in the third act, so it's kind of tough to call. So the third act might be them fighting Ashton. Right, there's some kind of shootout where they trick him, and he, you know, he's about to shoot him, and then either the brother saves him or the family saves him. Maybe the the kid, the kid on the left, uh, the little brother. I think he's part of it. You know, he's part of the family, and he's definitely a character in the movie. So, I think it could be a lot of fun. You know, they're not giving away a lot, but they're telling me a lot. Um, and I like BJ. I like Ashton. Uh, I think this could be a solid comedic movie. I like the guy playing the, uh, the the guy in the middle there, the brother or whatever. He seems to be on point in terms of the comedy, and so does the rest of the cast. So, yeah. Yeah, so Vengeance by B.J. Novak. Uh, if, this, if this works out, you know, this could be, this could be a good timing for him, right? Because, God, we're desperate for comedies. I've always, I always keep saying that. We need more comedies. This movie hits... You know, a comedy finally hits. Oh, I would love to see him get, you know, like a three-picture deal and for comedies. Please keep doing comedies, BJ. Don't, you know. And he does a bunch of different movies where he stars and he directs. and You know, that would be fun. Not these serious movies. You know, I wish to God Key and Peele's uh, Keanu movie had hit so they would do more comedies. I miss them. I think they're funny. And uh, now, like... You know, Jordan is doing these serious movies. Uh, I'm not so down with it. I mean, even the Get Out movie had a hilariously funny scene in it. 
I would love to see him go back to comedy because I think comedy where is where it at, where it's at, and it doesn't seem like the rest of his movies are really hitting. But mm, I think this movie could hit. I think this could be a hit. So, Vengeance by B.J. Novak. Check it out in theaters. Uh, what was it? J July 29th. July 29th. I'll be there. And that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. We do four videos a day, two more. You're not seeing them here on YouTube. They're a little too based for YouTube. Uh, check me out at the Flemington Summer Book Fest this Sunday, the 29th. I know it's Memorial Day. Come on out. Have a good time. Have a hot dog. Buy a book. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow.